Um, I think it's important for people that are watching today to understand the process a little bit. So all these huge solar array projects are not approved through our local planning and zoning commissions. So all these enormous projects that affect us locally go through our siting council. Now the problem with that is just like everything else, in my humble opinion, it's a huge overreach by the state. We're now taking away the power from our local municipalities to regulate these utility projects because this is what solar is. These huge projects are not farms, they're actually utilities. So we're putting these huge utility facilities in residents' backyards with them basically having zero control in say. They can go before the signing council, but as we've all seen in this room, it falls on deaf ears. So personally, my personal feeling, and I'm certainly not speaking for my other legislators here, I would like to see at least in these areas that have mass solar projects, Enfield, East Windsor, Ellington, we actually have about a third of the state's solar projects in our area of the state. I'd like to see all this revert back to the, the local municipal control. And uh, Jamie can talk a little bit more about a bill that we have in right now that really addresses that particular uh, issue. But we ask our local municipalities to produce our plans of conservation and development. And then what we do as a state through the siting council is basically ignore those. Um, I can speak for locally in Enfield. We actually have it in our plan of conservation and development where these solar array projects should be placed. And they're in industrial zones. They're not in residential neighborhoods. They're not in farms that abut people's backyards. So I think it's important that we return local control to these municipalities and give the local control back to the people that know best. They know their neighborhoods. They know where these projects belong. And I think that's what we're here to say today.